The Chris OK Project. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Um, the success of the band uh, is growing a lot, and it's for that reason that I've decided to uh, hold some auditions to see if I can find some other members to fulfill my band and make it really, really good for gigs when we're playing playing live shows. I mean, I know I, I, know I can play all the instruments, and obviously I'm better than anyone that else is going to audition, but I'm trying to find someone that can sort of, you know, match. Not match, but sort of a bit under, because we don't want anyone too good. Not that there is anyone too good. But we do want people that can play the music that I want to play, because really that's what's important. Um, so we'll be showcasing some uh, some talent. I'll, I'll put some flyers up, see what we get. Could be very interesting. Oh, just uh, putting up some flyers for uh, auditions. Because, you know, we want to attract some street crowd. Because normally they're pretty good at music. Hobos are. They, yeah, they're good. I mean, they bask. That's how they make money. I mean, it's nothing compared to the gigs I do. That's, that's street performing, not basking. There's a difference. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've, I've put a cheesel on there because, quite frankly, it's a bit of an incentive. Not a bribe, but pretty close. It, it'll help people join the band. And if you just want to have a zoom in, you can, you can have a read. As you can see, the Chris O'Keefe Project, the greatest in musician in the world, wants you. But only if you're awesome like me. That's me. Wicked. Come audition next week at my crib. So when who wants to audition, come audition at my crib next week. Alright. After a long hard day's work of putting up flyers for the band, and just, you know, pottering around doing some meat stuff. I like to uh, just chill out at the end of the day and just have have a bit of, bit of relaxed time, just for myself. And uh, one of my hobbies is chess. And uh, if I say so myself, I'm pretty good. Uh, well, you know, I did get to the uh, semi-finals of the, um, oh, what do they call it? The uh, Grey Street Primary School Grade 4 Chess Championship. So I got to the semi-finals there, um, yep, lost in the semi-finals to Peter Wong by default because I swore at him and I thought it was a total rip because there is nowhere, it says nowhere in the book of rules for chess you can't swear and you know, it me off a little bit but it's okay, next time I'm in primary school, this isn't going to be a long time but anyway. I'm uh, in the middle of the game of chess at the moment with uh, my friend Rodrigo Sanchez. Say hello, Rodrigo. Hey. Um, so, he likes chess too. Not Well, he's alright. He's alright. Your move. Um. There you go. You, you, but, uh, you didn't tell me I was in check. I did. Uh, but. No. No, I did. Um, but actually, no, but actually you didn't, because I remember my last move, I moved my bishop, and, uh, you didn't, because otherwise I would have known. But I just moved my queen from there to there, which put you in check. I said check. And then you were going about how you're such a great magician and everything. And then, you know, you didn't hear me say check, so... Check, mate. Um... Ah, but I think the rules clearly state that... Rodrigo, get out! Get out! Go away! Um, I apologise for that. I, uh, I didn't mean to make a scene. Um, but I wasn't in check. I wasn't, because I remember playing the game. I wasn't in check. You can all understand why I'm, I get, so, I get so emotional in this game. Chess, it's pretty intense. I mean, it can get, can get pretty heated at sometimes. But um, quite clearly, then that was another mistake. Peter Wong said the same thing in grade four. Um, but I wasn't in check. I don't even know why I come over here. I'm just so stupid. I mean, he can't. He, I come over here 
And then I asked, oh yeah, do you want to play some music? No, I'm too good, I'm too good for you. I play to professional audiences, you know, people pay to see me. And I'm like, okay, do you want to do something? He's like, okay, what do you want to do? And so I'm like, okay, let's just play some chess. Because that's why I come here. So, you know, make moves. He's shit. So he makes some moves. And, you know, I say he's check, and it's like, oh, I'm so good, I'm so good at music. And then, as you just saw, I won. Um, so anyway, uh, things, things go up and bad. Uh, yes, sure looking good. Um, uh, yeah. That's oh, all, I'll just, I'll be here a sec. Um, the band's going well. I mean, auditions next week. Um, it's gonna be good. So, oh, so have you moved? Yeah. So, you check. Sorry? Go and check. I've, uh, I've hidden a couple of uh, hidden cameras just to uh, see, see what kind of people we're attracting for our, for our band and uh, just to see who's coming along, just in case someone eats that cheese without getting a number. She's like, okay. okay. They sound mouth to mouth. I fucking hate that guy. Today's the big day, auditions. It's very exciting. A little nervous too. Got me a uh, notepad, me pen, just to write some important notes down for the you know, people who are auditioning. Uh, I've, I've decided to bring a little friend around. This is this is Rowan. So yeah, uh, he's a good friend of mine. Um, I don't choose for him to wear no shirt. It's his decision. He he, he says that helps with the music. I'm not exactly too sure, but anyway, uh, probably sure we should get on with the auditions. I'm so freaking ready for this! Drink all this Red Bull gas and this all night. Stick on my 91. Yeah! Hello, this is a great person! Call the doctor. Get away from me. Are you ready? Uh, next up we have. Anonymous. Uh, come in. What do you think you're doing here? Sorry, Chris, I guess. You've left me in the air one too many times. I was alone, falling free, trying my best not to forget. What happened to us? What happened to me? What happened as I let it slip? I was confused by the powers that be, forgetting names and faces. Passers-by were looking at me as if they could erase it. 